Speaking with journalists, Governor Boseki said the facility has been officially handed over to the state government by the federal government. Mr. Boseki said construction in the school will commence before March this year. They have now formally handed over, so we have full control of the facility. Um, so we cannot do what I put it to appropriate use. So I think the delay was the documentation and having clarity on ownership, but that's been sorted out now. So we're ready to make the investments and um, before March, you'll see work start here. When asked on security of the property, Governor Gordon Obaseki said there are plans to support the community with military and police personnel to protect lives and property. Well, I think the communities know how to secure themselves. Uh, we are supporting them with installations, military and police installations. And, um, you know, we'll, I'm sure they'll be safe. In her remarks, the Edo State Commissioner for Education, Dr. Jun Usalviawe, said the state government has converted the school to a campus of the Edo State University, Uzaire. According to her, the campus will focus on education and research studies in agriculture. His Excellency Governor Baseki at uh, this uh, Law, um School, which is, uh, His Excellency has already announced that it's going to be converted to a campus of the Edo State uh, University of Zaire. So this campus is going to focus on education, education research, education studies, uh, development studies and agriculture. So His Excellency is here today with a whole host of other people including the contractor that is going to do the road leading to this um, school. So it also uh, would benefit the community. And the T junction here, one kilometer. From, from here, here to, to uh, yeah. Uh, the main uh, road, yes. it's uh, exactly two kilometers. Then we have an order okay. shoot 250 meters. So what we have assisted is around 3,250, three kilometers 250. Patience, Osao Giwa reporting.